Hey guys, so this is going to be a general read. I'm going to go ahead and get started. We'll see what the universe has in store for us today. So the universe, oof, I feel like she's already ready to get going. I feel like that guy wanted to come out too. Uh, so let's see what messages she has for us. So I have financial and material changes, passion ignited, the waiting game, Throat chakra, discontent and boredom. So I feel like we're talking about, I feel like we're talking about working towards a goal that financial and material changes. Uh, I feel like the waiting game is speaking to, this is taking this is taking time. It's happening over a certain period of time, this change. I feel like the discontent and boredom is also speaking to this transition. Maybe it's taking longer than you would like or longer than you hoped it would. I have temptation, wisdom, emotional withdrawal, fulfillment of wishes, and shadow. Yeah, so I'm definitely seeing on this path um, that the amount of time that it's taking is is frustrating you. Maybe feeling, maybe feeling a bit of self doubt about as to whether this is going to work or if it's going to work in time or even in a timely manner. But I have that fulfillment of wishes. Um, so I'm feeling like success is coming your way. And like the wisdom card is speaking to uh, perseverance and sticking with it. Definitely starting a new chapter of our lives. Um, because I have I have the tower card here. The tower card uh, represents uh, something coming to an end. I feel like that's where the emotional withdrawal is coming from. I feel like it's part of what triggered the change, especially because I have the ten of swords here, and the ten of swords also represents a disappointing ending, but one that was beneficial for you in the long run. And I think the benefit is that it pushed you to make this transition. In your life I have the ace of Pentacles which rep represents new beginnings and it usually speaks to finances so I feel like it ties into that um, financial and materials changes I feel like this is part of the path that you're on for change in your life I have the Queen of Wands here and I have the Queen of Cups as well um, to me the Queen of Cups feels like where you started I feel like it ties into that discontent and boredom and not feeling fulfilled, not having what you want in life, not happy with the way things were going in your situation. I feel like this change lit a fire under your earth and that's what the Queen of Wands is speaking to. Is, is this shoved you in this new direction that is going to be completely beneficial to you because um, I'm just drawn back to that fulfillment of wishes, uh, that passion passion ignited so I feel like this is definitely sending you in a positive direction so I have the two of wands and the two of wands represents choosing a path so definitely what we're talking about here um, this this ten of swords that happened uh, that forced you to choose a path start a new journey leave the past behind as as the eight of cups speaks to i have the knight of wands and the knight of wands can represent a change coming swiftly and i feel like he ties into this page of wands that can represent good news coming your way and i feel like that also ties in to this ace of pentacles this new beginning this change that you've been working towards this goal that I think feels like it's been taking for bloody ever 
Um, I think it's just around the corner. I have the Nine of Cups, which represents abundance and happiness. I feel like that also ties into this, this good news, this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning for you. I also have the death card here, and the death card represents transition. So closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. Uh, I have the justice scales. To me, the justice scales in this read are all about bringing things back into balance in your life um, with that, that success, uh, the money, and happiness as well. Uh, bringing everything back into balance, I have the Magician card, and the Magician card represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in your journey. And I feel like he's encouraging you to keep moving forward, to keep persevering. I have the Empress here. To me, the Empress card is speaking of nurturing yourself, nurturing this new life. It's also speaking of perseverance and moving forward and growing this new future for yourself. I have the World card, and to me, she's a good omen. And she represents positive things manifesting for you in your life, but not ones that just happen under the blue. They're ones that you had to work for and earn, sometimes going through rough times in your life. I feel like all this work that you've put in, the world card is saying that it's about to pay off. I feel like she ties in uh, to that page, to that knight, to that ace of pentacles. Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups represents new beginnings as well. Uh, cups usually represents emotions. So to me, this new beginning is is representing more of more of a personal one and an emotional one. Where the Ace of Pentacles is representing your financial situation changing. I feel like being able to overcome overcome these obstacles as this part of a. So I guess I got the devil card here and I'm getting an impression from him because I feel like he ties into these obstacles that you had to overcome. Sometimes the devil card speaks to a person. I, I don't know that he speaks to a person in this read. I'm feeling more, I'm feeling that this is more personal. Um, these are more personal issues that you had to overcome within yourself. I don't feel like there's somebody else tied to this. I don't know if there was um, addiction issues here or just depression. It was something very personal and very deep and not easy um, to overcome. Something you had to conquer. I feel like that ties into the tower card as well and the ten of swords. Um, they usually speak of something coming to a disappointing end. Uh, I don't feel, now that I got this devil card, I feel a different vibe coming from this as it wasn't a disappointing end as much as it was something, something that you had to overcome and something that you had to conquer and move beyond to be able to be successful. I feel like those are the challenges that you had to overcome to find triumph as the Six of Wands represents I have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles represents abundance. And I have the Four of Wands, which represents setting down a solid foundation for your future. So I feel like also overcoming this, this is speaking to this Ace of Cups, this personal journey, this personal growth. Um, I feel like that part of it is setting down a foundation for the future. But I feel like overcoming that as well has allowed you to have that Ace of Pentacles and that new financial beginning too, which I, I don't feel like you would have been able to do had you not been able to overcome this devil card and have a new personal beginning. So I have the Seven of Cups here, and the Seven of Cups tends to represent um, many options, weighing your options, choosing wisely. I think it's speaking to your journey and choosing a new path because I have the temperance card and she represents a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like you had to do a lot of deep thinking 
um, a lot of reflecting, soul searching, um, a lot of healing, overcoming this devil card to be able to find a new path in life. In the Knight of Swords, I see triumph and clarity. So I feel like within that journey, you were able to find clarity in your life and a new direction. I have the Three of Cups, which represents happiness and celebration. I feel like that's where you're headed right now. I feel like this is going to be an ongoing journey for you. In some reads, I feel like uh, it's speaking to an end goal that's around the corner. Sometimes it's finance, sometimes it's love. Um, to me in this read, I feel like this is ongoing progress. As I have the Three of Wands here, and the Three of Wands uh, represents uh, making progress over time while still keeping your eye on the goal so i feel like this new this new beginning emotionally this ace of cups this new beginning financially the ace of pentacles i feel like it's all part of your journey uh, but i feel like it's it's going to be a long-term journey that you're going to have to keep working towards i feel like that devil card might also tie into that as well things that you will you will struggle with for a while I have the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords represents moving from a storm in your time into a calmer one in your life. So I feel like definitely you've made a lot of progress here, uh, and you're going to be able to see those changes and see those benefits uh, in the near future. Now I have the High Priestess. To me, she speaks of this being a spiritual journey as well, and a lot of inner learning and sort of self-learning. I have the Fool card, and the Fool card is telling me that this whole thing has given you a completely new lease on life. Like you look at life in a completely different way now than when you were stuck in this devil card. So I pulled sacrifice, destiny, and fertility. Um, I feel like sacrifice is tying into that devil card as well. And being able to, to overcome these personal demons like maybe you had to give something up there or maybe someone and step away from a situation um, or certain people as part of that as well there was there was some sacrifice in making the transition um, and in getting healthy uh, mentally and emotionally as as I believe the ace of cups is speaking to but I feel like you are on your destined path in life now I feel like that's what the destiny card is speaking to and I feel like this fertility card is encouraging you as well to grow this healthy new loving life for yourself and definitely uh, this transition this change this forward positive progress that you've been able to make will lead to fulfillment of wishes for you and will allow you to have that life that you really want Alrighty guys, that's what the cards are saying to me. I hope you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment because I love hearing from you guys. Take care.